Welcome back to Soda City Live. How soon after having children should you begin to start planning, saving, or even thinking about saving for college? Well, here to answer that question is State Treasurer Curtis Loftus for Future Scholars Baby 529 Day. So, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. You should start saving yesterday. Yeah, yeah. right. It's like never too early because yeah. after all, with compound interest and things like that, it adds up over time. So what exactly, right. for people who may not be familiar with that term, what exactly is a 529? Well, the 529 plan in South Carolina, we call it the Future Scholar Plan. It's the plan that the state runs, Treasurer's Office runs it. It's a five and a half billion dollar plan, so it's not small. We have 200,000 people in the plan. And what it does is it works like an IRA. You make a contribution, you get a tax deduction for that. It grows inside the fund tax-free, and then you take it out tax-free to pay for college, tech school, trade school, or even K through 12 private school. Yeah, and so give us an idea of how much of a difference it makes when somebody starts early on a 529. You really don't have to contribute all that much. Over time, it starts to snowball and it starts to work for you. That's, ex that's exactly right. And the reason we hear particular now is the 529 day, Palmetto Baby Grant Day. And if your baby's born on May the 29th, 529, we put a $529 baby grant into your uh, fund. And if you don't have an ac account open, we'll open it for you. We'll help you with all that. And it starts now, yeah. you know, and then $529 at six or 7% interest over 18 or 20 years is a lot of money. Oh, no doubt it. Yeah. I, that's, that's an excellent rate of return. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and as soon as we do that, grandparents will put money in there. Your friends will put money in there. Your cousin will put money. It's amazing how people want to help out. Oh, that's neat. You know, yeah. so what are some of the qualifications for opening up a 529? It's the easiest thing ever. Futurescholar.com, futurescholar.com. It's, I made it idiot proof. I can do one so anybody can. And if for some reason you can't open one up, uh, you're just not good with computers, call that number and you'll get somebody here in America who will answer all your questions. There are no fees involved with opening up and you don't even have to put money in it now. You can schedule it for you. We created the flexibility so you open the account and then you use it when you're ready. Yeah, give people an idea of um, just I, some of the problems or issues that run up with uh, if you don't set up a 529 and your child wants to go to college. I mean, you're really kind of out of options at that point and really I would think that the only option is loans perhaps. That's exactly right. The average student goes is somewhere between thirty-five and fifty-five thousand dollars a year, I mean excuse me, in debt when they graduate. So when they go graduate and go to go to work, they have to go work for the debt. They're not working for their dreams. They can't take the job they really want in the place they want because they've got debt. So if you start now, you can, you may not be able to pay the whole four years or two years, whatever it is, but you pay a lot of that. And so it makes a difference. It, it lets them live their life, their dream and not their debt. Yeah, it's student loan debt, just a huge problem. It's something that's being wrestled with on the national yes. level, we know that. But, you know, I think too, when it comes to saving for college, a lot of times people don't think that they have the money necessarily to even be thinking about that. But Again, probably the message to get out there is that it doesn't take much to start. That's right, it takes zero to start, but then if you want to start putting five or $10 a month, you do that. You'll find that your grandparents will start throwing their tax refund in there. You get, you throw your Christmas bonus in, and like I've got a bunch of nieces and nephews. I won't buy them anything for Christmas or birthdays because they've got everything they need, but I do write them a check for their 529 plan. Yeah, that's, yeah. All, that's always a good thing. How long has the 529 plan been in it's, place here in it's South getting Carolina. close on to 20 years now. So we've had hundreds of thousands of people graduate. It make I, I can't go anywhere with somebody didn't throw up their hands. And say, hey, Mr. Treasurer, thanks. We got our kids through school. I've had people tell me they've gotten seven or eight kids through school. Wow. By, by the, and you start it today. You you put whatever you can in there, yeah. and you start throwing money in. And again, you let your your friends know because they want to help. Sure. That's the kind of constructive thing people will do. Oh, that's that, that's cool. Um, and so I guess with with something like this. It seems as though it goes such a long way over such a long period of time. Is it only for South Carolina schools that the 529 money can go toward or can it go to other schools? I'm glad you asked. Is any accredited two-year school, four-year school, 
uh, graduate schools, specialty schools like Cordon Bleu cooking schools in the country. Wow. And there's about 600 around the world. Someone said, well, are you sure I can go outside the state? I said, you'll be surprised how fast Harvard will call me and ask for your check. <laughs> Not the truth. It works so well. It's, it, if all of government worked like the 529 plans, we'd all love government. Oh man, it's it's wild. But I appreciate you laying that out for the viewers. Yeah. It's a, a great program. Again, what's that website? FutureScholar.com. Okay, FutureScholar.com. We'll put a link on our website, WISTV.com. Curtis Loftus, State Treasurer, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We'll be right back after this.